Medical. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me from hy -V. it's our registered dietitian, Erin. How you doing, Erin? I'm good. How are you doing? Fantastic. And uh, I, 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 smell of vision first off, smells amazing here. That Greek yogurt, pretty pungent. Good, you tell me. I've been telling you that I'm not necessarily a fan, but you're going to change that today for me, I think. We are going to change that for you. But that's not what we're here to change to your diet or smell here. We're going to be talking about uh, some healthy hacks. Three healthy hacks today, which I found out that uh, Nick, who's behind the camera doing a great job putting these segments together. Thank you, Nick. Uh, <laughs> he He's like, yeah, I, I already do one of these. And uh, I don't want to take away your thunder, but I'm just kind of crazed by it. So... Three healthy hacks. Why Why even try to do a hack? What are we trying to replace here? Right, so we're not necessarily replacing anything, but we're giving you some great tips to just easily implement into your lifestyle. Whether She's it's so yours easy. or someone else's, it's right? Easy. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> sure, and uh, it, it also is trying to add some bonus pieces in, like protein. Right. Big talk about protein. I'm asking you this question many times. What's the deal with protein? Right, yeah, what is the deal with protein? No, protein is so good for our body because it helps our body heal. It helps our body build muscle. It helps our body regulate um, our hunger and satiety. And if we're not getting enough protein, we might be more hungry. We might go and grab things that maybe aren't as satisfying or um, as nutritious. Yeah. Yeah. Cravings. <laughs> Cravings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, when you look at this uh, this nice spread here, you're kind of like, okay, I can get, I can wrap myself around this a little bit. So we're gonna start with the first one. One of my favorites, peanut butter. I love peanut butter so much. Me it's, too. It's so good, and there's so many varieties of it. It's great. Yes. I I'm, agree. I'm looking at here, and there's there's peanut butter in front of me, but it doesn't look like peanut butter here. Yeah, it doesn't look like your normal peanut butter, right? So today I have PB2. So this is, I like to call it like a dehydrated peanut butter. Basically, it's dehydrated. So it's taking out 90% of the fat, and you're left with some great flavor and protein, right? So peanut butter has some great protein. It has healthful fats, but sometimes... We just want a little extra of that protein versus all the added added fats, meaning like the fats from the nuts, right? So this will have some good healthy fats and then it is low calorie too. So only two tablespoons is going to be um, 60 calories as well. Wow. So it's really cutting down on that, that calorie. So PB2 is really cool because like I said, it's that like dehydrated peanut butter and a little can go a long way with flavor and you can add it to almost anything. So I add it to overnight oats. You can add it to warm oats as well. But yeah, just a couple tablespoons. And it just made your oatmeal go from zero grams of protein or about one gram of protein to 12 grams of protein. Really? Yeah. And that's it. And what, what's the flavor like? Uh, for, for those of you at home who are like powdered peanut butter, are you crazy? Well, when you add it to something like oatmeal, you're gonna add a fluid, right? So like water or milk, however you're making your oatmeal, and it's gonna, you know, dissolve in there and it's gonna taste like peanut butter. Wow. So you just have, you just don't have that stickiness of peanut butter that peanut butter has. But I like licking the knife afterwards. Well, you can do that too. <laughs> you could even add a scoop of peanut butter right into that oatmeal as well, and then you just have extra protein and extra peanut butter flavor. Okay, so I've never heard of mixing oatmeal and peanut butter together till today, so that's a first. <laughs> uh, so right there's a hack on its own, yeah. but uh, interesting enough, yeah. it, it's super easy to do, and like right. I said, that protein, uh, you get it pretty quickly there uh, right. uh, for exactly. mixing in. And you can even add this to yogurt. Oh, you got to stop right now. Peanut butter yogurt. Yes. Oh, man. So let's talk Aaron. about yogurt. Okay. Yogurt's really good. I love I love me a yogurt. And you've told me over and over and over again, Greek, that's where it's at. Why Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt has a lot more protein in it and um, tends to have, well, Chobani specifically has a little less sugar too because they have their, um, their zero sugar Chobani. Okay. All right, so when we have a flavored yogurt, that zero sugar is nice and helpful. But yeah, like I said, we're adding more protein. You're becoming more satisfied while you're eating that yogurt. And that, again, curing some of the being hunger, that feeling of hunger. Exactly, exactly. So like I said, we can add some peanut butter to that, um, to a vanilla yogurt, mix it up. I know I got a knife today versus a, um, a spoon. Mix it up really well, and then you have a, a fruit dip or your apples. Really? So it's like yeah. a peanut butter, like a peanut butter dip, 
Yeah. And the, the Greek yogurt side. Yes, definitely. Then you have, if you want more savory, grab a plain yogurt. Okay. So plain yogurt, to me, it tastes a little bit more like sour cream. So something that Nick likes to do behind the camera, he likes to add this to his tacos, and I fully agree. I, a replacement of sour <laughs> cream. How dare you guys. <laughs> but today we can even add some dill ranch dip, whether it's the hy brand or the favorite ranch. Mm -hmm and Hidden Valley Ranch, and then mix that up, and now you have a veggie dip. And like you said, the benefits of Greek yogurt, I'm not among many, but it's that protein, that extra protein, again, trying to fill you up. Uh, and, and this is a hack, right? You're getting out of mixing up that traditional sour cream and every other fun ingredient. It maybe tastes good, but... Exactly. This, this that smells really good. And then you also have some great probiotics, great for your gut health as well. Keep things moving, got it. Uh, how about hydration? Another fun area to talk about. Uh, we've talked about this product before, but uh, more importantly, why are we not getting enough hydration? What's the deal? Right, 75% of Americans say that they are dehydrated. They're not drinking enough water, whether it's throughout the day, um, at work, at school, out and about. And Liquid IV can really help to boost that hydration because it offers electrolytes. Electrolytes help our cells get water into them. Um, so Liquid IV does have a sugar-free version, and um, this is great because when we're when we're worried about you know preventing and managing diabetes, we can go for that sugar-free and be you know less cautious about drinking something flavored, and yet we're still getting that hydration. Well, yeah, you're still with basically water, and then you're kind of adding it in, which I think is something you've said to us many times on the show, regardless of the recipe, adding it in versus starting with it. Right. A lot better solution, so to speak. So so the hack there is just adding that in. You're getting some extra uh, juice out of your water, essentially. Basically. And you can use liquid IV, just adding it to water, just plain. You can make a mocktail. So let's say you're having dinner and you tend to go for a cocktail. Um, if you want to switch it up and make sure you're hydrating your body well enough, go for adding that liquid IV and then maybe adding a splash of your favorite juice or a sparkling water and um, adding a little bit more oomph to it. Yes. Oof. Like the oomph <laughs> in it. Uh, ultimately, uh, regardless of the hacks, uh, the idea today is is trying to find different ways to get away from some of some of the things that ha don't have some of the benefits, but including protein in your diet just benefits a lot of different reasons. I mean, it works well for you. It does. It does. Absolutely. And finding alternatives, right? So these might be products that you've never heard of before, or you didn't think about using them in the way that we're using them today. Yeah, I would have never guessed that. That on the Greek yogurt side. You always surprise me with something in new in Greek yogurt. So that for your taco deal, like uh, could you you know, can you put the you know that on top right now? Yeah, with definitely. That, with that mix in there? With the dill dip? <laughs> you might have a little funky taco, but sure, why not? All right, to if each you, their own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Nick, this could be you right here. Uh, all right, uh, if you want to learn more, uh, Aaron, uh, uh, or talk some protein with you, uh, how can they do so? Yeah, go to hyvee.com slash health or Stop in one of our high V stores and ask for your dietitian. All right. Well, I'm, I'm not a Greek yogurt fan, but this gives me an opportunity to step into that uh, comfort, uncovered zone, covered zone, if you will, and then try something new. Appreciate the hacks. Yeah, absolutely.